Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to share with you what I got for my four kids stockings. And at the end of today's video, I have a giveaway with four winners, each kind of themed around each of my four kids stockings. So make sure you stay tuned for today's giveaway. All right, let's get started. So growing up, stockings were always my mom's big thing, and I've definitely carried that on in my parenting. I have way more fun shopping for stocking stuffers um, than I do for under the tree gifts. I always end up getting too much that won't actually fit in their stockings, so we hang our stockings on our bookshelves, and I end up kind of putting gifts around the stocking on the shelf as well. It is what it is. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are stocking gift wrappers or if you leave everything unwrapped in the stocking because this is something that John and I have gone back and forth on over the last 13 years. So first I'm gonna show you what all of my kids have that are similar and then I'm gonna show you, they, they each also have a few things in their stocking based on their age and interest that are a little bit different or very different. Uh, but first and foremost, my kids, I have four kids, I have two girls and two boys, so I'm gonna be showing you what's in my three-year-old daughter's stocking, my seven-year-old son's stocking, my nine-year-old son's stocking, and my 11 and a half-year-old daughter's stocking. So they're definitely different this year because it's just such a big, big age gap this year. So first, first things first are what they all have. So they all have a Kinder Egg. This is like their goodie that's in their stocking, as well as a set of these magic milk straws that turn their milk into like chocolate milk or strawberry milk or something like that. I actually asked John to sit, he's right off camera, say hello John. What's up guys? <laughs> because I was like, wait, well I'm telling everyone what's in the kids' stockings, I'll also let you know what you got the kids this year for Christmas. So. Do you love it, John? You love I, Christmas shopping? I guess that's just how disconnected I am. No, it's just I enjoy the shopping so much that I just I handle it for you. Yes. So <laughs> anyway, so then I also always get the kids band-aids and we never have band-aids. So I don't know why, I don't know where four boxes of band-aids go over the course of a year, but I think they just use them like stickers. Yes. So I have, um, Avengers and Star Wars for two of the boy or for each of the boys and then Jojo Siwa for Miss Annabeth <laughs> and LOL for Isabella. Poor Bella. She's going to be getting band-aids in her stocking when she's like 18 still just in the name of tradition. And she'll still enjoy them. She'll still love it. Yeah, she'll still want to be a part of it. Then for my uh, boys, I always get them toothbrushes. Toothbrushes are just something that always have gone in stockings for us. My mom never did that though. Did your mom do that? Um, not toothbrushes. It's just been an us thing. We got the Lifesavers book every year. The Lifesavers book, that's right. Um, so I got this Star Wars toothbrush and this Star Wars toothbrush. I actually just did these Target pickups, so I just selected two Star Wars and two LOL toothbrushes. And I don't, I just took whatever characters they gave me in my pickup order. So the girls both have LOL toothbrushes. Growing up, stockings for us was always like CDs. And then once DVDs were out, we got DVDs in them and like jewelry and watches and like all sorts of gadgety things, flashlights and stuff. So I just do things like toothbrushes and band-aids and soap. I don't know. It's fun. Um, I also, well here, we'll stick with the the less expensive stuff first. So then I also got them each, uh, this was just a four pack of the Burt's Bees chapstick that um, came from Target pickup as well and they're just four different flavors. I got these for our ski trip because my Florida kids are not used to cold weather and that was one of the big deals last year to them was that their <laughs> lips were cracking the whole time. And then also in the Target like stocking stuffer section, I saw this when I was there on Black Friday, I got four containers of Crayola whipped soap, um, Granny Smith apple, blueberry, grape, and cherry berry, but um, that looked kind of fun. And then I also got my younger three Crayola bath slime, sugar cookie, jolly jelly bean, and arctic mint. And one of our really good friends is a plumber, and so I was gonna double check with him <laughs> that these were decent before I let the kids have slime in the bathtub. And then for Isabella, instead of the slime, I got her this snowman soap 
from Philosophy. This was a, a miniature set that I got from Zoo Lily a while back. Somebody had asked me where I found these small bottles uh, because she doesn't really take baths, so that's for the shower. So they all got some soap stuff. And then, to contradict myself, I also got them all bath bombs. So for my daughter, who I just said doesn't take baths, I got her the cake bomb. This is from the Da Bomb brand bath bombs. It's like two sisters. There's a little goodie inside of each. So I got her the cake bomb. I got them all these last year as well, and they loved them. I got Jessie the Ninja Bomb. And I think what it is is like the little goodie that's inside. It's like a keychain, but it's all themed to whatever the bomb theme is i got eli the treasure bomb and he actually got this one last year as well it made the water all gold he loves treasure x so i'm just getting him another one this year and then i got annabeth the elsa bath bomb which is like twice the size as the other kids but they probably won't even notice but i just couldn't pass up the frozen one so i got them all those i thought these would be perfect down in the toe of the stockings i'm always looking for something to like get down in there then the last thing that they all have that's similar is, are these different, I think they're Lawrence King makes these, Lawrence King Publishers, the same publishing company, I believe, that does the bird bingo and the bug bingo, and you guys know how I feel about that. Um, so I got these different matching games. These are educational games. So match a pair of birds, and you match the male and female birds. So this is for Isabella. And... It's like a memory match game. So you leave them all face down and you flip them up and do the memory match, but it's got like a twist because you're not looking for an exact match. You're looking for the male and female and there's a chart in there, like a key. And then for my nine-year-old Jesse, I got him dogs and puppies because he really loves dogs. So that's matching the dog with the puppy. For Eli, I got match a leaf and this one is matching the leaf to the tree. And then for Annabeth, I got pick a flower this one, she's not gonna be able to do on her own, but I couldn't not get her one. So I shouldn't have gotten this for her because she's not really gonna be able to play it on her own. But um, if she looks at the key, she'll be able to figure it out. So this one is, you match the, it says learn the language of flowers in this blossoming memory game, match 25 flowers with their uses and meanings and collect the pairs to win. Um, so yeah, that's a little over her head, but she'll be happy to get the same thing as the kids. And I'm just gonna be happy to add that to our school room. So then we have never allowed our kids to have a stocking stuffer that I can recall on Christmas Eve, but I was always allowed to open one on Christmas Eve. And I think you were too, right, John? Yes. You guys were able, to, did your yeah. mom pick which one or did you just pick? Um, she picked, yeah, because she had the knowledge of what was big. And yeah. What was so we don't actually stuff the stockings till the kids go to bed. So this won't even be like a stocking stuffer. This will just be a random little gift. But these came and they were much bigger than I expected them to be. So they weren't going to fit into the stocking anyway. And they also wouldn't really be an under the tree gift. So I got them each a little handheld game. Again, because we're going to be taking a road trip shortly after Christmas. I thought these would be great. And... Um, this Christmas Eve is just going to be different, so I thought if there was a year we were going to let them open something and have some time to play before they go to bed, it was going to be this year. So I got Simon. This one I think is for Bella. It's just the Hasbro miniature micro series. And then for Eli, I got the micro bop it, which is going to be just a blast to listen to in the car on that whole drive. Um, for Annabeth, I got this pop it. It's this never ending bubble popping game. It's more like a sensory thing than an actual game. So it just says on the go, durable, no pieces to keep track of, fun to pop. It's just sensory fun that keeps little ones busy. So it's literally just like popping bubble wrap the whole time. So I got her that. And then for Jessie, I got Brain Bolt, which a blazing fast light up memory game. So that's cool. Yeah, so I thought this would be really good for him. This just kind of looks like Jesse to me. I don't even really know what it does, but this is going to be the game he gets. <laughs> so that's how I do my shopping. All right, so now I'm going to go through what they each got individually. They each have six other things to go in or around their stockings. So I'll go oldest to youngest. So Isabella got an additional soap. It's the peppermint soap. 
She also got a pack of the hair scrunchies. Um, these were from Home Goods, but I liked them because they weren't like bright pink colors because in dance she doesn't, she wears like neutral colored leotards and things. And so I thought that this would, and even her clothing in general is like this. And she and I both love these type of hair ties the most. They really help with our fine hair, holding on to it. She got one LOL. I don't know which one this is. I really don't know like the difference between the LOLs, which ones are new and which ones are old, but LOL Littles, I don't know. So she got that. She got a pop socket. This feels like we're entering tween land for sure. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, she has a techless phone and she can't take pictures or anything, but it would still be helpful for her to hold on to it because she doesn't always carry a purse with her yet or anything like that. So, and plus she's in youth group and it's just cool to have a pop socket. So we got her that. Uh, she's also dropped her phone a number of times, so she needs that. And then I also got her this Esborn Little Stickers Sloths and their Jungle Friends. She loves sloths, and so even though this is for younger kids, I think she's gonna think this is cute. And then, again, tween land, we got her a Starbucks card um, because she has her, her and her girlfriends have their little Starbucks orders that are cute, and every time I go to Starbucks, she always wants something, and I'm like, no, what do you, you want me to spend $6 on your coffee? And then I send $6 on mine and tell her she can get a cake pop, so. That's more like me giving her permission to order twice with me when we're in the Starbucks line. Um, next, I'll show you my boys. Theirs are actually still very similar. Um, they each got a PS4 game. So, I mean, I don't, can, I don't even know if they can play these alone or together. It all is just going to be a community thing anyway, but they'll just be excited to have this in their stocking. So, I got Jesse this Lego Jurassic World game. My camera's picking up on it. And then for Eli, I got Lego Avengers. But like I said, they'll both play with both of them. So there's that. They also each got one of these Hot Wheels I uniquely identifiable vehicles. An Aston Martin. Did I say that right? You did. Okay. And a Camaro. Mm -hmm. And so these, apparently you can like somehow connect to something some kind of app or something i'm not sure it says something about the app store on the back i figured we'd figure it out when they open them um but thought those were kind of cool and then they each have a few nerf things so they each got some nerf refills and some nerf rival refills which these, I don't even know if these will fit in their stockings. And then they each got the glasses. And then they each got a game. So Eli, I got this pop for addition and subtraction game because Eli is always, he's, he's our math kid for sure. He's our kid who loves numbers the most. So he'll be excited about a math game, but he's also always on the hunt for a gumball machine. And he always has a quarter in his pocket just in case. So I thought that that was the perfect gift for him. And then for Jesse, I got him Bananagrams, um, which is kind of just like, I guess it's kind of more like Scrabble, but like travel size or pocket size. It's, I don't know. You guys are going to probably tell me that I'm wrong, but it's just, um word race game it's kind of like scrabble from what i was reading but eli or jesse always likes to write and spell and things so i thought this was really good for him as well so that was what was in my boys stockings and now i'll show you annie so annie just has a couple of extra things here annie loves popcorn so just like i got um eli that learning resources pop for addition and subtraction, I got Annie the pop for letters, and this is where you match the um, uppercase and lowercase letters. Is that right? We used to have this. I think that's right. Yeah, you say the letter aloud, I guess. Um, so uh, there's uppercase and lowercase in there, so I thought that would help her with that, because she is able to identify letters now. And then I also got her two of the LOLs just because they came in a three pack. So one of my girls was gonna get two and one of my girls was gonna get one. 
and Annie was the one who was down by a gift in her stocking. She also loves these Usborne, that's not my book, so they're the touchy feely books. So um, I got her That's Not My Snowman and That's Not My Polar Bear since we'll be in the snow right after Christmas. And then I also got her, I'm sorry, we also got her um, the Barbie color reveal. Um, I don't know, what's the doll that's smaller than Barbie? I don't know, is it like, does it have a name specifically? Yeah, I think it has a name. I don't care. It's, Barbie Jr.? No, it's like, I don't know if it's like, is it still Skipper? I remember it used to be Skipper when I was a kid. Or like Kelly? Or Chelsea? Does that sound right? I think Chelsea. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Or maybe it's, maybe it's a surprise. Which doll will you reveal? I don't know. It's a, the small version of the bigger color reveal, which she got the bigger color reveal. Um, under the tree. This is something she's into right now. She loves these Barbie color reveals. So that is what is in my four kids stockings. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below how you do stockings, if you wrap them. I know some people in the past have, have told me really unique ways that they do stockings in their home. Do you hang them up? Do you put them on your kids' beds? Are they at the breakfast table? Let me know all of your stocking traditions in the comments down below. And I'm going to leave you now with today's giveaway, which I'm very excited about. Today's woman-owned small business giveaway is from my business. For those of you who don't know, I am an Usborne Books and More consultant, and I love these books so much. So I decided to have a little bit of fun and come up with four different prizes, each valued about $25, each representing my kids' ages and interests. So these are four different stocking stuffer bundles, and you guys can specify when you enter the raffle copter which specific stocking stuffer bundle you want or if you are okay with any of the four so it's just one raffle copter it's very simple just go over and check it out in the corner down here i will show you what number each bundle is so the first bundle has annabeth in mind this one is some fairies some gardens some coloring some ballet some activity books just some cutesy little books that is perfect for a three-year-old Next, I have a bundle that represents my son, Eli. He loves the constellations. So I have these constellation cards. He's also such a big fan of the beach. So there's this cute rub down transfer under the sea book. These transfer books are neat because they're not sticker books. What you do is you put the image over the page and then you use the back of a pencil to rub down the transfer onto the page. It's really neat and, neat and unique. That's neat unique and neat. <laughs> the next bundle represents my son Jesse who is a nine-year-old boy. He's all about nature and bugs and activities and getting outdoors. We have a nature activity book and these bugs to fold and fly and space crosswords and all sorts of fun nine-year-old boy stuff. All of the books that I'm showing you fit in a stocking. Some you might have to roll up to fit in there. 50% of Usborne books are under $10. So that's a really great price point when you're talking about stockings. And then last but not least, these books kind of remind me of things that my 11-year-old daughter loves. So we've got animal crosswords, we've got the chemistry of cola, which are science experiments for the kitchen, and then museum activity book is such a fun one, and we have loved this one so much. So like I said, all of the info is in the description box down below to enter, and I am going to run this giveaway for 48 hours and ship as quickly as possible to the winners so you guys have this in time for Christmas. Thanks, guys.